Hello, this is Reza Rat from Red Acad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use RankX to calculate ranking in a visual in Power BI as a measure. Uh, let's see how it works. When you want to show ranking in a visual in Power BI, one of the ways is to use a visual that supports ranking, like ribbon chart. I have already a video and uh, uh, an article about that. Another way, which is more common, is to use any visual, but then have the ranking added to it as a calculation, uh, which basically means to do it either using DAX or Power Query. Now, if you want to do that calculation dynamically, DAX is one of those ways and rank X is a function that used normally for these kind of calculations. Rank X, uh, the way that it used is that it is getting a few parameters just to show you what the rank X parameters look like. Rank X, when you use it, uh, it gets a table, an expression. The other three parameters are uh, optional parameters. These two are required. The table is the table that you want to do the ranking based on the items in that table, for example, based on the colors or based on all the products or whatever that table is identifier of that. Expression is the expression that you want to choose the ranking based on that, like the sales amount uh, value or anything else. The other three are optional parameters. Uh, the value itself is another expression. Uh, it requires a total different blog article to talk about it. I skip it for now. Order is, uh, do you want the ranking to be based on these values ascending or descending? The default is descending. And the tie is when what happens when it is a tie. Uh, so um, if you want to write a really simple DAX expression in a measure in Power BI, because writing it in a calculated column is a little bit different. Uh, and the way to do that, go to uh, the link down below this in description. There's a link to my article, which explains how to do that in a calculated column uh, to, to Phil's article, by the way, from our team he used to be. Uh, now, uh, here is uh, an example of rank X in a measure. Let's say I have a visual like this, and in this visual I have colors and sales, and I want to calculate the ranking. So the, the two required parameters is a table and a measure. Uh, color is coming from the product table. So um, basically you'll think that when color is coming from the product table, the table has to be the product and the sales is just a measure but this will not give you the correct ranking. This is the result you will get with that measure. All of them would be ranked as one. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, this table that you pass as an input is still considering the filter context of your report or visual. Uh, and this value will be evaluated for every record if, uh, of that table. For example, when you are looking at this record, that table would be only black product anyway. It is already filtered because it is filtered through the visual. It is already black products and black product sales is that. So rank of that among all black products is of course one. Same for red products, same for silver products, because this filter passes to that. So you have to find a way to say, I do not want this to be passed as a filter. And one of the common ways of doing it, there are many other ways. One of the common ways of doing it is using um, using uh, variations of all as a function. So here I have another ranking example, which is kind of the same thing. The only difference is that here I said all of not entirely in product, just in product color, because that is the only one I want to do ranking based on that. Because if I say entirely in product, then it would be ranking based on every single product. And that is not what I want. I want to do ranking based on every single color. You can pass a column in all function as well. Again, I have an article about that. Go and check it in uh, down in the um, description below from my blog link. You'll find that. Uh, so if I pass that, that means it will evaluate this value for each of those values in the colors and it will provide a ranking. 
uh, which is uh, by default descending uh, based on the sales value if two values are the same there's a tie condition and they would have the same ranking i'll talk about that tie separately so that is how you use ranking in a simple way remember this table matters really but what if you have more than one column if if i have another column in this table let's say color and size then the situation is a little bit different that ranking would work only for one column not the other so if you want to have something like this which is two columns and then you want to show the ranking based on that then your expression should also covers that and in a function like all you can provide two 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 columns as long as they are from the same table and it would return the same thing but this only works if these are in the same table if they are in different tables there are other things you have to consider which depends on how they are c connected to each other this might be different for example uh, just to show you what happens if two columns are from different tables here for example i have color from uh, product table education from the customer table and if i have a situation like this just to show you that education is from customer table color is from product table there is no direct relationship between these the relationship happens in the sales table if a situation like that happens then i have to use uh, like if i use that expression with all i get an error like this saying that um, all the arguments of this should come from the same table um, so i cannot directly use all depends on the relationship between those tables i might use another method for example here i used a cross join because there was no way of creating relationship between these uh, all of product table all of education table and this is the result if there's a relationship you can use functions such as related um, you can use other functions as well like three tas um, basically whatever you use here can be a tabular function uh, that serves the purpose of your calculation it is important that you think really what table is the input of your rank x and i get the result so cross join basically uh, like creates a cross join of all values of the product all values of education even if there is no sale uh, but because it is ranked uh, based on the sales descending um, i'll see those that have a sale at the beginning anyway uh, and the last part what happens if there's a tie tie situation means uh, something like this uh, if you look at the first column here this is the name of my customers and this is their order quantity if i have two customers with the same order quantity here for example april and samantha they both have 58 order quantity uh, the ranking would be the same you see eight right um, and same situation for nancy and ryan here or with daniel and jason if their value is the same their ranking would be the same so uh, one of the parameters we have in the rank is what happens when there's a tie and when there's a tie um, the situation is uh, I'll just show you the expression the situation by default is that if there's a tie so this is a normal rank X uh, function for all of customer full name by the order quantity um, and this is the normal situation the outcome outcome of that expression is here so when there's a tie those would be the same number uh, the default tie uh, condition is a skip which means that uh, we have one two three four five seven uh, six seven then we have two at the rank of eight the next value starts from ten not from nine because we have two at the rank of eight so it is basically eight plus two ten that is the, how the next one starts versus if we use the other situation which uses dense as the ranking uh, as a tie break then the situation would be this one two three four five six seven these two are eight the next one regardless of how many items have tie here would be a starting from nine and if this tie itself would be two nine then ten then 
11. So it, it always starts from the next value. That is how dense works versus the way that um, the skip works. Skip is the default one. So in general, um, RankX is a function that gives you ranking. You have to be really careful in terms of what table you have, you provide as an input. Um, you can use tab tabular functions. The expressions is where you can use the scalar functions. The RankX itself is a scalar function. It returns one value which can be used as a measure. And you have the option to choose uh, what happens when there's a tie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI.